What's up YouTube? It's the one and only Yugi Penguin coming at you today showcasing you my brand new Millenniumized deck profile from July 2018. If you guys like this video then please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh content. And please switch on your notifications in case you want to see me on live streams every single, uh, every other day from 10pm GMT British time. So let's get into the deck profile and we're going to start this off with one of the main cards themselves in the deck and that is Triple Relinquished. So Relinquished is basically one of the ritual cards you use. I'm going to just bring this one up because I'm using the starter deck Joey ones also. So you can't really see it as you can see like there's a, a difference between the artworks obviously because one's old and one's new. So you can ritual summon this card with Black Illusion Ritual. Once per turn you can target one monster your opponent controls, equip that target to this card. Basically you're taking the attack and defense of the equipped monster and if this card would be destroyed by battle you'd be destroying the equipped monster instead. And while equipped with that monster any battle, you take, battle damage you take from the battles involving this card equal effect damage to your opponent. So basically any damage that you would be taking would go straight back to your opponent. So Relinquish is a very good card. And then we go straight into the next monster. Brand new uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict uh, Illusionist. I'm getting these cards wrong. Wow, there's so many different Millennium cards. So the quick effect, you can discard this card, then target one effect monster your opponent controls. Equip that target to an Eyes Restrict. Fusion, monster, or relinquish card you control. As if it were equipped by the monster's effect. If an Eyes Restrict Fusion Monster or Relinquish Special Summon, add this card from your graveyard back to your hand, it's not optional. But it's really good because if you're playing Foolish Burial and you've already activated this effect, you can just bring it back to your hand at any time. So it's always uh, recycling itself. So that's a very, very good card indeed. Then I play Triple Mandrew. So if you guys don't know what Mandrew does, basically, well, everyone should know what Mandrew does by now. This is one of the best cards for Ritual cards because when this card is Normal summoned, you basically just... Or flip summon, you basically just add a ritual spell or ritual monster from your deck to your hand. So if you've got the monsters in your hand, you're going to activate the effect and basically add the spell cards to your hand. I play the one Armageddon Knight. Um, quite self-explanatory why I play him, because whilst this card, when this card is summoned, you can send one dark monster from your deck to the graveyard. So if a Millennium Eyes Restrict isn't always, uh, Illusionist isn't in there, sorry, then you can always put him in the graveyard with him. And then I play the one King Caballo. I played two, I wasn't too sure about it, um, I'm still not too sure about this card, it is a good card because you can actually uh, special summon a level 1 monster in your graveyard, your graveyard will be full of level 1 monsters if you have the relinquish in there or anything like that to counter your opponents of cards. Uh, then I played the triple Orphis Scorpio and the one Darling Tonya Cobra. So basically, when you normal summon Scorpio, you're basically sending one monster from your hand to the graveyard. It can be uh, any of your Relinquished cards or Millennium Eye cards. And that's really helpful to combo off again to get your extra plays. So, and then obviously, you're going to be special summoning Darling Tonya Cobra from your deck. And then you, Darling Tonya Cobra's effect will add you one of your. Uh, you know, instant fusion maybe, or relinquish fusion, but you'll see that along as the deck goes on. And then I play the two Lord of the Red. So, of course, you may question why I'm playing these cards, but again, I am playing it because I enjoy it and because I actually like Lord of the Red. So, it's easy to get out. I mean, sometimes you'll have uh, monsters in your hand that you don't even use or on the side of your field, and you can just use them and then ritual summon Lord of the Red who can do extra damage, who's pretty damn cool if you ask me. Really love the artwork of it, and, and I've always enjoyed playing in it. And I just wanted to find a deck that incorporates him. Last but not least, for the monsters, I'm playing a uh, Kaiju package. When I say package, I just mean um, Gamma Seal, Radian, Dogaran, and Jizakiru. Because obviously, you want to out your opponent's monsters and stuff. And if you're giving them a Kaiju, you can always use Relinquished or any of your Millenniumized monsters or fusion cards to actually copy the attack and uh, defense and then just uh, counter them that way. And then let's go on to the spell cards. So obviously the one interrupted Kaiju Slumber to start because that is definitely for destroying your opponent's monsters and all monsters. And then the main uh, cards of the deck, here we go. So triple Black Illusion Ritual. So that will get you out Relinquished if you need it. And then three uh, Relinquished Fusions. So if anyone doesn't know what Relinquished Fusion does, there we go, I'll just show you there. I'll move my hand out of the way. My big fat fingers are in the way, god damn it. 
Fusion summon one eyes restrict monster, fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing materials from your hand field and or graveyard. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, equip that target to an eyes restrict monster. So like I said, you can always equip one of your kaijus that you've given to your opponent with Millennium Eyes Restrict giving you that monster's effects and you, you know basically everything to do with it so I really think that's a good card then I play two Red Eyes Transmigrations because that is for your double Lord of the Red and then anything to get your ritual cards to your hand I play uh, the one, the three preparation of right sorry add one level seven or lower ritual monster from your deck to the hand and then you can add one ritual spell from your graveyard to your hand should it be in there so you're resetting the duel so much by bringing out as many relinquish and millennium cards uh, millennium eyes cards as possible then i play triple pre-preparation of rights because this instantly brings you lord of the red and red eyes transmigration to your hand so you don't really need to go searching for them unless they're already in your hand so pre-preparation of rights is very good unless of course you want to bring out your other uh, fusion cards or anything like that or ritual cards shall I say and then triple instant fusion because you can go into any of your fusion cards from the extra deck and I'll show you the fusion cards that I play very shortly I play double allure of darkness guys your deck is full of dark monsters so double allure of darkness is much needed in the deck then I play the one foolish burial and the one monster reborn obviously quite self explanatory and then the two trap cards that I play are just double evenly matched because these do get me out of problematic boards and problematic matches. You know, you're only playing Relinquished, it's not a very serious deck. It is a very fun deck to play and I do highly recommend playing it, but this is just a deck profile for it in case you guys want to build it or just build something around my idea as your own and then at least you know that I've shown you. Anyway, for the extra deck, the extra deck consists of one Millennium Eyes Restrict, Self-explanatory card, I mean it pretty much does the same thing as Thousand Eyes Restrict, I mean these are all the Millennium cards, I mean I would highly recommend that you take One Thousand Eyes Restrict out and replace it for a second one of these because Millennium Eyes Restrict is the main boss monster you want to go into. Your um, instant fusion target, Invoked Raging, so basically once per turn during either player's turn you can target one face up monster on the field, change it to face down defence. You only get his effect once because instant fusion will destroy him during the end phase. So invoke raging is very good anyway. Link monsters, the one underclock taker, and then obviously I'm finally happy that we UK have got this release. Triple Link Aribo because Link Aribo is going to be one of the best monsters hands down in TCG and OCG. You can't go wrong with Link Aribo. I'm just I'm upset that it's not a jump promo or even a super rare for that matter. But it doesn't matter. Link Aribo is out and it's ready to go in this deck. And I'll probably be playing this in my Karibo deck, but we're not talking about Karibos right now, we're talking about Rel Relinquish deck. Abyss Dweller, Castell the Sky Blaster, um, a Sylvan Princess Sprite, one Tornado Dragon, a Utopia the Lightning, and the one, uh, sorry, the Utopia number 39, and then the Utopia the Lightning. Well, this deck profile has been all over the place, it has been very... Uh, ill-informed shall I say, very uninformative and I'm very sorry for that guys but I did try to read the cards out to you and just help you as best as I can. I'll be showing you some deck replays very soon with the deck in action but as for now thank you very much for watching, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you do continue to enjoy my content and please go check out some of my live streams at 10pm every night British GMT time. Thank you very much for watching, Yugi Penguin is now signing out and I'm going to go to bed because it's very tired and that's probably why I didn't get most of my commentary right. Anyway, pet signing out.